Uh, welcome to show 19 among hustlers. Uh, I want to introduce uh, Chia Vang from uh, SAC. He's a realtor out of uh, SAC. And you say SAC and El Grove. Is that right next to each other? Uh, yeah, basically. Oh, okay. So yeah. uh, you're, you're a realtor out there and I think, you know, father of two kids and, you know, wife helps you out with real estate staging. She's, she does staging for you. and she does the staging. Yeah, can you give us a little intro of what you do and, uh, you know, just, just a little, um, just intro of what you do. I, you, I think 24-7 realtor agent, is that yep. correct? 24-7 realtor, uh, nothing else besides making these YouTube content for for people to watch. Yeah. Um, and um, helping the wife <laughs> with the staging business. That's it. And right now I'm a teacher, dude, because my kids are homeschooling, you know, so Every parent is a teacher now, so I might as well put down the resume too. Yeah, teacher as a side hustle. Yeah, dude, that's I'm doing that too. Well, I'm not doing that. My wife's doing it, but you know. Yeah, but it's crazy, right? Are you are are your kids doing like the the computer thing, or are you are they doing the pamphlet thing? No, they're doing the computer thing. Everything's all virtual right now. So the teacher will give us like an assignment uh, in the mornings, and yeah. then uh, whenever we wake up, we gotta go through all those assignments, and then she checks it on her end. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, so they still check. I mean, how old yeah. are you kids? Are they? Are they? I mean, so my daughter, my daughter just turned twelve, and then my son's oh, okay. turned nine. Oh, okay. So yeah, so you know, my my daughter's only seven, so they're just having a walk through this virtual stuff, and it's like, what's two plus three? You know, and she clicks on a button, and that's it. So like, oh, that's probably it. You know, but I'm sure like your kids are probably going like something more advanced where they do have to check it. So. Yep, um, they check cool. in. Cool. So, you know, real estate agent, day, night. Um, dude, how'd you get into real estate? Just just a quick. Um, so I was uh, getting tired of my job because I was a smog mechanic, right? And um, yeah. I, I got tired of coming home with dirty, greasy nails. Yeah. And, and so I got tired of that. And I was like, man, I need to do something else. And plus, when it gets hot, like right now in the summer right now, like around this time, it's already 90 degrees and yeah. it's hot. And I'm working underneath cars that's got exhaust. That's even yeah. hotter. And yeah. I got tired of that. So um, I um, I went to one of my church group meetings and I was like, man, I was sharing it with the group that I'm looking for a different career. I'm open to anything at this point. And yeah. then, um, one of my uh, buddies uh, was leading a church and he was like, hey, man, come check out. Keller Williams, because he was at Keller Williams during that time. Yeah. Be open. And I was like, okay, I'll come out. And I went to the career night, and I I, I just saw myself doing it full, uh, full time. I was like, man, I could do this. This is pretty easy. And then I, <laughs> and I just never looked back. He uh, he said he said something to me. He said. Did you ask him, like, how much he made? Because we're, we're a money show. Did you say, hey, man, how much you making? You're just like, that looks cool. I'm just going to do it. No, you know? he didn't. He didn't tell me that, but he already owns a broker. Yeah, and so uh, I'm. He already owns our bro uh, 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 broker, and he's already doing really, really well. I know him pretty well, so I know he he does pretty well off. So he um, he asked me this question, and it changed my whole perspective. He said, "Chia, if you ever get into sales, real estate is like one of the biggest ticket items." Why not sell the biggest item on the list? Yeah. And I was like, damn, you're right. And then so yeah. I just jumped on board and that, that hella inspired me. And I just never looked that back. So, that was uh, what inspired you? It was like, yeah, that hella you're inspired me. The biggest, the biggest, like, you mean, yeah, you're right. Like, like one of the biggest purchases a person can do is purchase a house. And what the next thing is like a car. And like the next thing is like, what, a computer, right? So mm -hmm. is, that, is that what you're thinking? Like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be the wow i was thinking i was thinking that and i was just thinking oh my gosh with the house it was like more zeros at the end <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, and then um and and then we started doing that and so I, I didn't actually started selling homes retail i got into the investment side first so i was i was wholesaling homes oh okay okay i got hella curious i went back to work the next day and i was like damn how am i gonna get out of here and he was like well, on your downtime, do some research on real estate. And I I got to wholesaling, and I I I did two wholesale deals while I was working my nine to five. Yeah, 
yeah, yeah. And I and I never saw the properties. Yeah. Wow. It, I never saw the properties. I just wholesale two contracts to a cash buyer, and I was like, "This is hella easy." Imagine if I would have done this full time. <laughs> so that's when I that's that, that's when uh, I was sold for the real estate industry. How much you made out of them? You make a so lot? two uh, two of those I made about six thousand dollars. Ooh. Just wow. Just uh, the contracts I made about six thousand dollars. Wow. And wholesale doesn't take that much time, right? Uh uh-uh. Yeah. So so you know we're not here to talk about how to wholesale, you know, but. <laughs> Those of you guys who want to learn about how he did it, you know, let us know in the chat. Say, hey, you know, hey, we want to learn. Well, maybe we'll invite him back. But today we're going to talk about YouTube, you know, how you can make money off YouTube. Mm-hmm. And uh, Chaz, Chaz, one of the guys that, you know, been pushing content out on YouTube. And I like how he does it, you know. Um, I'm, I look at his stuff all, you know, all the time. I'm like, it is, you're, what you're doing is looks cool. It looks clean. It looks nice. So I want to get you on board, you know, just to just say, hey, you know, teach us how what you're doing. Um, and this can be a side hustle for everybody, you know, because mm-hmm. we're all sitting home, you know. <laughs> it's already been like what? Is it I've been telling I was I was going through it all day today. I'm like, damn, man, every day just seems like it's the same <laughs> thing every day. Is, is that feel like what you're feeling like too, man? Uh-huh. For like the past is it has been six weeks already? I mean, I think it's been it's six been weeks already. Man, I'm like, oh, dude, I, it's like, I feel like I wake up, you know, eat, and then <laughs> play with the kids, and then it's already nighttime, you know? Yeah. For <laughs> like real, I haven't dude. done anything. Yeah. You for know? Real, like, I think that's not like, earlier, right, we were just, um, I was talking to my wife. I was showing her what this YouTuber was making on one of his yeah. videos that went live, uh, and, and it became, um, it got, it, blow, it blew up, and he made, yeah. like, Eighteen thousand dollars or something just from that one video in one day, and I was like, "See the potential of YouTube videos. You only need one <laughs> video." And then from that, he got like over almost a hundred thousand subscribers. Oh, jeez! You That's know what crazy. I mean? Yeah. So like, so like that that could happen, especially right yeah. now. You're just home. You don't have anything to do, man. Turn on the camera and just start recording. And the your first video is always going to be your your worst. Like yeah. if you guys, if you guys go back to my channel and go back to my very first video, oh my god, Samoto! <laughs> you can always hide it, right? <laughs> you can hide it, but then the thing is, I just keep it on there because it's still good content. Come on, oh, okay, okay. The information yeah. is still good, but my whole setup, everything's changed. Yeah, and that's one thing. Like I like about your your, the, your content is like it looks the lighting, you know, uh, it just dude, it looks very professionally done and i think you, you you know we can talk about that in a bit but um let's let's you know those of you guys who's joined let us know <clears throat> if you guys have any questions about how to get started you know because this is the guy right this is the guy he's been doing it for a while how long have you been doing this man so youtube i say about seriously two years now two years okay mm-hmm. and you got quite a you know i mean he's not that much follow. i mean follow, your followers are like only what like 400 something yeah I mean, four hundred is kind of hard to get. I mean, to me, <laughs> my first hundred, my first hundred was so hard, and I was so excited. I did a giveaway. What? Yeah, when okay. when I hit, okay, when so I hit my first hundred, I did, I did a giveaway, a tip, right? Huh? A tip, right? That yeah. is a good. Tip. Yeah, give us a give us that tip. How'd you get to one hundred? Um. So, I uh, I, I I I do a lot of research, but then I figured, man, I got like over a thousand friends on Facebook. I only I need them to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So what I did was um I had to contact each individual of them individually. Huh? <laughs> I didn't like put it on my news feed. I just individually messaged them and say, hey, you know, I got a YouTube channel. You know, it would mean a lot if you could go and check it out, give me some feedback, and while yeah. you're there, just subscribe. You know, yeah, so yeah. I did that to everyone. And um, out of out of all that, like my numbers started going up, going up, going up, and then I think by the time I was done going through that, majority of the people that responded back to me, uh, I got like I think two, three hundred subscribers from that. What? Yeah. And again, so what happened? So after I got done DMing everybody on Facebook individually about subscribing yeah, to yeah. my YouTube channel, 
I gained about two, three hundred subscribers that day. So the first hundred was just was the same thing too, right? The first hundred was just for me putting it on my profile, like how I normally do. Oh man! And then they like it, and then they just but then that took a while though. Don't get me wrong, don't, that took a yeah, while. Yeah. But then when I saw that my subscribers went past a hundred, I got hella excited. So I did a giveaway. Yeah. I did like a, I think 50 bucks Amazon gift card giveaway because those are virtual. I could just send it to your yeah. email. And yeah. um, I, I, I made a video about that too. It's on my YouTube channel. So uh, I oh, did that. Cool. And then from there, my YouTube channel started growing to like about two, 200, 300. I kept doing it. And then by the time you know it, I'm at 400 something subscribers now. Yeah. So just, so those of you guys, uh, you know, don't know. I mean, I mean, when that, when I, I, I know it's hard because the fact that I remember when I tested that theory out, right. I'm like, Hey, I got about 4,000 friends on Facebook. Right. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, when I first started, I'm like, Hey, let me just see, let me just share it out. I say, like, Hey, can you do me a favor and just, just hit like, or like, just not like, but subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah. Dude, out of that whole ordeal, like 4,000 friends, there, I mean, it was probably less than five people that actually did it. <laughs> That's crazy, right? It was like all it was is just a button. So for what, for what you did was you went ahead and uh, first thing you what? You just shared it. And so you had 100, right? That's yep. amazing. And I think right now, you know, I, I'm still at like 100 something. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you are. And then, and then I guess your second tip was you you call them up i mean that's pretty that's that awesome bro. i mean that 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 kind of like calls them out <laughs> <laughs> so now so now what i do is um uh, because my videos about uh my youtube channel is about uh, giving tips to <laughs> buying and selling all right homes yeah so whenever i have a client that's looking uh that's calling me for any advice or asking me questions if i made a video about that i don't even answer their question anymore. i just send them that link to my video oh dude yeah 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 okay and then and then when they click it they like it and then while they're watching it i'll just tell them hey while you're there just subscribe and so yeah. so i've been doing that a lot too and i think that's been helping yeah you know but that's really you doing all the work right if you look up a lot of our uh, youtube gurus what they normally say is um it focus on the content Right, kind of like what I was telling you the other day. Focus on the content because once you make really, really good content, everybody that goes on YouTube, like the millions of people that view YouTube on the daily, they're gonna start noticing your video, and then it's gonna come automatically, you know. So like, don't focus on that. Kind of like how whenever we do uh, wholesale, don't focus on finding the cash buyers. Focus on finding the deal. All the cash buyers gonna come. Yeah, yeah. If you find a really, really good deal, cash buyers are gonna come and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, like, let me go look at that house, you know? And next thing you know, you got like a whole database filled with cash buyers. Yeah. YouTube's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two's already sharing it, but I'll let you call out, right? So somebody's there, hey, what's the, what's what's your, uh, Jason goes, hey, what's, uh, what's your YouTube channel? I'll let you call it out, right? <laughs> you see it? Yeah, I see it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, call man. It out. Hey, two thanks, bro. Thanks for uh, putting my channel on there. <laughs> <laughs> Jason, Jason, his uh, his channel is what? Chia Talks, right? Chia Talks. Chia Talks. Okay, so if you can yep. search on it on uh, YouTube, it's called Ch uh, C H I A Talks. T A L K S. All so one, one word. word yeah. On one word. Yeah. So it'll come up, and he has tons of videos on there. I think you have like over a hundred or something like that. Over three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because last year, I was just trying to get into the motions of making video because in, when you first start, you feel hella uncomfortable making videos because it's a camera and there's nobody in there. You're just talking to your, the camera lens, right? So right, right. I, I gave myself a challenge. I was like, you know what? I'm going to start a vlog. Every day I'm going to upload and edit those videos. And I did that for like, I think, four months. Yeah. Four or five months. And within those four or five months, I had... I created videos every day, so that was like, man, two, three hundred videos. And yeah, that's a good way to go at it. Like, can you can you explain what a vlog is? A vlog like, is when a vlog is basically kind of like a blog, right? Where you post up what your daily schedule is going through, but with the video, 
it's slang yeah. for log, vlog, right? So video log, basically. You're just videoing everything you do in that day. So that's what so I it's did. Kind of like, it's kind of like a summary of what you did that day. Is that is that what it is? Or summary? So so if people aren't, like want to follow what you do all day. That's what it is, right? Yeah, so do you that's do what it I was doing. in the day, or dude, that's amazing. Yes, but it was it was so stressful, dude. I don't recommend it for first time YouTubers because it could yeah. burn your passion. It could create a lot of burnout. Well, why is that? Because the editing, the oh, okay. uh, um, the content, um, the um, just everything about it, you know, like. Because it's not really about the quantity. It's really about the quality. Yeah, yeah. Me down. Like, man, I, anybody can make a daily vlog. I can just put my camera on a shelf, let it record for 24 hours, and then yeah. post it to uh, YouTube. That's still considered a vlog. But if it's boring, nobody's going to watch it. It's just going to be waste, wasting people's time, right? So I thought about that, and then I decided to stop doing that. And just decide to do like weekly updates or tips, anything, because with a weekly uh, upload minimum, I was able to at least focus more on my videos, the content, uh, yeah. the style, everything about that, right? So, and you feel better when you like publish a video that you put hella work into it and it comes out really nice. The sound is crispy. Uh, it's not distracting. You got sound effects that matches the videos. Your effects for the video, uh, everything makes sense. You, you just appreciate it more, and people will appreciate it more too. Okay, okay, gotcha. So you're saying don't do it, but are you do? But you're saying do it weekly, or or, you, or now you're just doing content. Minimum, you want to try to upload at least once a week. Okay, all right. At okay. least once a week. Because if you don't do that, let's say you build up an audience, right? Because right now I have like 400 subscribers. Sometimes, believe it or not, you can lose subscribers if they finally realize this guy's not making any content for us to watch. Why am I going to subscribe to him? Yeah. So you now have a responsibility to make videos now. And yeah. if you could basically promise your viewers, okay, I'll be uploading at least the very minimum once a week. So subscribe then it's going to give them something to look out for. But if you end up uploading more than one video a week, then that's a bonus. But at least you're setting it, you're putting yourself out there and you're making a promise basically to your viewers that if you guys subscribe to my channel, I'm going to make content like this for you guys every week to keep you guys yeah. entertained. The key word is entertain. Yep. <laughs> so, entertain. so since it were a money show, how do you get more money? You make more so, videos, right? Yes. So YouTube changed their algorithm guidelines to where you need a minimum of 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 uh, hours on your channel. So let's, let's, so let's stop there, right? So, you know, those of you guys, let me, let me do a little segment into this. So those of you guys just join, let us know where you're from. I want to do a shout out where you guys are at uh, on, on the channel. And then um, today we're going to talk about how Chia, you know, does you know does his youtube channel um and he's gonna explain to us how we're not gonna show you how to set it up but we're gonna tell you the way he's kind of started uh wait, wait two years from now two mm -hmm. years ago how he's kind of started and you can see his progression you know because uh, i i was following him like a couple years ago let's see they are yeah, about two, years, two years ago yeah so his progression has changed and you know your subscribers are coming are wrapping up faster and you've your views are, are, are more as well. So uh, if you guys have any questions, comment below. So as a, a, how easy is it to start a channel, first of all? Super easy. All you need is a Google uh, Google account because now Google okay. and YouTube is one platform, right? They bought over YouTube. So yeah. if you have a Gmail, then you should automatically have a YouTuber already. Do you have to do you have to create it or somehow or is it just like automatically there and you just have to activate it? It's automatically there. So like okay. people don't notice this, but then that's why whenever you, uh whenever you go and view like other YouTubers, yeah, when you make a comment or you like or subscribe, it's automatically your name that you register on your Gmail account. Gotcha. And gotcha. a lot of people uh create a Google account 
majority through their smartphone. Because when you get a brand new Samsung got Android phone, why? What do you need to uh, log in or register as a Gmail account? Yeah, yeah. And then and then they have all these uh, fine print on there saying that you, because you're a Google uh, Google user now, you have access to all of our platforms, which is Google Drives, Google Sheets, YouTube is on there. Yeah. People don't even realize right. it. So it's easy to create it, and then and then what's next? Content, right? We talk. We just talk about content. So with content, you can upload anything or anything. No, 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 no. Right. You can't. Oh, sorry. Let me take that back. You can't upload anything. Of course, you get censored by YouTube. Yeah. They check your video. They um. They make sure that there's no copyright music, anything like that, or else you could get flagged, right? So they do. Okay. Check that all the time. The moment you upload, the reason why when you upload it takes so long is because YouTube's also scrubbing through your video. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so so you can't just upload anything. You have to follow their guidelines. But as far as getting started, though, everybody on this live stream right now probably has a YouTube account. They don't even realize it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. So awesome, man. So then we, we, we can start talking about like, I mean, like equipment, right? So, I mean, when you first start out, how did you start out? I mean, I I had a webcam from Logitech. It was like a 1080p uh, webcam, and that was it. <laughs> okay, that was it. Okay. Real, like the audio was horrible. Actually, I take that back. My first videos uh, that got me started was on my phone. Gotcha. I, I was creating everything from my phone, and then from my phone, I started decking it out. I started buying all these lens adapters for my phone. Uh, I started buying this microphone that jacked, uh, jacked into my uh, headphone jack to get good audio. And wow, from okay. there, I didn't like the quality still, so I had to up it up to a real camera. But progression, right? I think right now, my most asked question is, if I was to start my channel all over again to bare zero, like, how would I start off? What would I do first? I would right, say, right. I would say I would get a uh, good lighting. Yeah. I would get good, uh, a good microphone for audio. Yep. And maybe like the cheapest, uh, mirrorless or DSLR camera. That's it. And a cheap one right now is like a Canon N50. Or G Lumis G seven. That's what gotcha. I would do. So how much would that be? Uh, a very cheap light is probably gonna be like a very like budget light that's gonna be good enough for the beginning. Probably gonna cost you like thirty bucks from Amazon. Uh, a good okay. mic um, could probably cost you like fifty bucks. Uh, a okay. decent camera that I was just talking about will probably be like three hundred bucks. Damn. Yep. So, so let's just say, all right. So, so the question is, is content more important or is equipment more important? Content. How would you weigh that? Content, content is way more. more important. Gotcha. So, so, so we don't need that it right now. So yeah, here's yeah. how that works. Okay. So just so that way you get what I mean. In the beginning, nobody knows you. Nobody cares about the content you're putting out there because they don't know you. You're missing nobody. They're automatically going to assume, oh, tomorrow you're going to be gone. You're just making that video today. You're not going to be consistent. So from that, your equipment doesn't matter as much. That's why a lot of people start out with their phones. It's okay. okay. It gets you yeah. going. But once you start getting established, most likely your audience is going to want to have cleaner audio from you. Yeah. Because pe people actually prefer to listen to to you to your videos more than watch you because a lot of times i mean i'm like this too you're probably like this and you don't even realize it i'll put on my youtube video and i'll drive in a car i only listen to the audio yeah that's true right yeah youtube yeah. knows that youtube knows that so that's why they came out with youtube music ah that's why gotcha. see so so they know that and, and so with your video that's why sound is even more important than your camera uh, visuals. Gotcha. 
way more important. My first microphone was actually the Yeti you have right now. Hey. <laughs> that's a good that's a good uh, microphone. Okay. What do you yeah. what do you have now? Do you have something different or I have a XLR? Here, let me let me turn my camera around so that way you guys can see. Yeah. yeah. So this is my setup. Okay, great. Yeah, that's your this, lighting. This is my lighting your... right here. And I'm on Facebook here. And then this is my XLR connected to this is a um Rode NTG2 mic. I love this mic. It's connected okay. all the way here to my uh XLR output. It's a H6 zoom. And it's connected to my camera you see right here. Yeah. So that's my camera that I use every day and it's a, it's a Sony camera with the yeah. with the uh lens and this is my setup right here whenever I come. This is my setup. That's it. I mean, that's not much. That's not right? much. It, uh, yeah. That's that's uh my setup right there. Then now, um, would you say majority of the I mean, is that like on the high end or is that on the low the the medium end or my camera setup is pretty high end. <laughs> <laughs> wow. you don't so saying, you don't need this bucks, this is pretty much on the high end this is high end no the one yeah. i gave you guys was on the low end so okay. if i was to talk about my gear right now this mic alone is 300 bucks and it doesn't work on on its own it needs that xlr output the xlr cable is probably 25 bucks the boom pole it's on is like another 20 bucks my portable audio a6 zoom is like 300 bucks and yeah. then my camera body, just the body, is like twelve hundred dollars, and then my lens is five hundred dollars. <laughs> Where are you going with this, man? This is like a you're going for the long term, right? I'm going the for long the long term, you know. So yeah. that's why I got this because it's dependable. It's gonna turn on whenever I need it, and it's gonna give me the yeah. quality I need to where it's gonna future proof my videos. Gotcha, gotcha. You know? So I look at it like it's an investment, right? Because right now, all of my gear is business expense. Yeah, yeah. All right, you're right. You can write that off. Yeah, So I and I'm writing it off, you know? So so uh, I I do that, and it, at the same time, too, I, I rent out my equipment. Yeah. You what? You rent, rent it out? I rent out my equipment. <laughs> I'm not lying. No, because it's part of your what? Are you talking it's because it's part of your your real estate business? No. Is that what it is? No, because okay. because there's a lot of uh, creators out there that don't have money to buy it, but they, they want to try it out. So I yeah. register my products at this uh, website, and it sh advertises out to creators to where they could rent my equipment for like maybe twenty bucks a day, thirty bucks a day. Wow. So there's a lot of ways you can go about it. You know, you just got to get creative. So I ran out my equipment. Um, but then that's Wait. just my gear. Don't compare my gear with your setup because everybody's case is different, right? Um, some people might not need all of this. You know, some people I know right now started off with just a camera on their phone and they're still using that. It's okay. Yeah. But then so, sooner or later, every creator is going to get to a production level to where they want all their gear to be similar to this. Gotcha. So, I mean, damn. Can you, so if, if, can you do a YouTube as a business? Do you know if that's possible? What do you mean do a YouTube as a business? You, be self you create a, a business out of being a YouTuber? I have a business. My YouTube channel right now is part of my, uh, corporation right now so is it, is it a separate entity or is it like it's a separate entity wow so there you guys go so you can make i mean what is what is the content is the content is your content is kind of like information based on what real estate just real estate you know like i think one thing uh, a person has to also uh, understand about making a video or a youtube channel is you can't be all over the place. You can't be like, oh, you know what? I'm a real estate guy. Oh, I'm an auto mechanic guy. Oh, I'm a landlord. Oh, I'm a dad. I'm a. It has to be niche based. Yeah. It has to be niche based to where they know that when they come to your channel, you're all about that. That's gotcha. why. That's why I texted the other day. I was like, "Is your YouTube channel Mong Hustlers or is it Chai Zong?" Yeah. And you said you're just gonna keep it in your name, and that's okay. A lot of people do that. 
Yeah. But the reason why I asked you that was really because people really know Hmong hustlers probably more through that. But Chai, whenever they subscribe to Chai, people are weird like this. They just kind of feel like they're supporting just that individual. But gotcha. if you change your channel to maybe Hmong hustlers, it's going to be like, oh, I'm already part of that group. Heck yeah, I'm going to go subscribe to that. You see what I mean? Yeah. It's a little different gotcha. now because it doesn't seem like it's only for your benefit. It's for all Hmong hustlers. Gotcha, gotcha. So, 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 so I think that could uh, segue into how I got my name, right? Chia Talks. Yeah. Before I, uh, before I uh, created Chia Talks, like I, I went online and asked everybody, yeah. like, what's a good name? And yeah, everybody's yeah. like, what's your show about? I'm just gonna be talking about real estate. Call it Chia Talks, and I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> so then Chia talks, yeah, it's me talking, but it's kind of like a talk show to where I'm just talking about whatever, you know, and and, and I'll take I, I gotta take it back. My YouTube channel came after my Facebook live where I was on the Mong radio. Yeah. And then from yeah. that, I I needed to create more content from my Facebook lives. So that's when I created the YouTube channel. So Facebook Live was actually first before my YouTube channel. Let me ask you this, since the radio, because you mentioned that up, you mentioned the radio, how much interaction did you get more on radio or did you get more interaction on YouTube? I got more interactions on my uh, YouTube. There you that's go. Why, that's, why I canc <laughs> that's why I canceled my radio subscription. Oh, okay. Because I paid for it. Okay. I paid to so advertise on the radio every month. So we were saying, okay, so just to recap, so most people don't know that. You were broadcasting off a radio uh, station for was it over a year or something like that, or for like, like almost for like almost two years. Yeah, and <clears throat> right. So I mean, I, I I don't know how much it costs. Are you willing to open? Up yeah. And say, yeah. So I only I did uh I did a very off peak schedule, and for radio <clears throat> channels, they charge you more when they know that more listeners come during this time frame. So all those yeah. slots was already taken by a lot of old, uh, older uh, grandfathered in. So I was a new cat coming in. So I got, I didn't know. So I was testing everything out. My schedule was every Wednesday at one o'clock. And mm -hmm. during that time, it wasn't a busy time, but I didn't know that. I, I just wanted to get my foot wet, right? So I was paying about 250 a month to do, to do, uh, to be on the radio one hour per week. On Wednesday. Right. Wow. Okay. So he's paying two fifty per week. That's like over a thousand dollar a month trying to get some No 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 no. It was it was two fifty two fifty a month to build a oh. host an hour a week. Okay, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Wow. Okay, so that totally changed when you did to YouTube yep. when it's free content that you're pushing out. And you get more interact interactions because everything's free, right? You're yep. you're you're pushing. I know, and you I mean tell us about how how you push your content out, how how you're doing that. Because I see how I mean I want how you do it on your Facebook. So I push like my you, content to texting it to people, uh, whether it's my clients or a friend or whoever that needs the information. I'll text a link to that. Or I'll share it every time I upload it, like how you guys see it majority of the time, right? Through my Facebook, yeah. my story, groups like Hmong Hustlers. Um, you want to join groups. Facebook has hundreds and thousands of groups. You want to join those groups, not so that you can spam it, okay? Don't spam. Be Try to give value to a lot of the people in those groups um, because... If you don't do that and you're considered a spammer only, you're gonna get kicked out. You know, yeah. Like because like you have to link to it, you post good stuff, but then whenever people need help and you don't ever put your input in, then like the the admins they're gonna see that they're gonna be like, what the heck? You know, like I I allowed you into this group and you're not showing any valuable content, or whatever that's helping these Hmong hustlers. I'm gonna boot you out. Come on. So it's it's nothing personal. It's just business, and it's a niche, right? Hmong hustlers. If you're in this group, you're gonna be sharing content about how to be a hustler. Yeah. 
So and you do and you do a pretty good job because like so so I all also have like a little plug. I also have a real estate group, right? It's called Mon Real Estate Investors, and and there in certain certain times where there's like a topic in there. Before we know it, you already have a topic on YouTube, and you're already sharing that in the group, <laughs> right? So yeah. like. So, People are sharing articles, and then you know people are discussing in in my uh, real estate group. And then before before we know it, she has already got you know his opinions, his you know his <laughs> his you know whatever it is on a YouTube link, you know on how he he's you know thinking this through. So which is cool, you know, because you know I, I mean I enjoyed it, you know. So and that's one way for you to to brand yourself, and I guess make money out of you know as a youtuber right yeah so i uh i started my youtube channel not because i wanted to like get subscribers and uh get adwords from youtube to pay me i mean eventually that'll happen but that wasn't my focus like how i told you the other day that i'm not yeah. focusing on going my youtube channel to that extent i started my youtube channel because when i was in the radio I realized there were so many people asking me repeat questions. Uh. And I got, I, I wouldn't say I got tired of repeating myself, but I asked myself, if this is so common for this person to ask me multiple times from different people, maybe there's more people out there. And then what if they're not able to view my, my radio channel around Wednesday this time? Then they missed out. Yeah. So. So how am I going to be able to share that information to them to where everybody sees it? YouTube. It's always yeah. going to be there. So then I, you make the video, you upload it. It's archived into your account. You can always go back and watch it. You can always reuse that content. You know, so that's what I did. And and and, and so from there, I, I think for my first month doing that, a lot of people did not really care what I had to give because there's a saying, right, that goes, people don't care uh, how much you know until they know how much you care. Okay. Right? So explain so, that. So so, so, yeah. so basically, I was a new cat around the block showing all these video content. Why are people going to click on my link? They don't know who I am. They, they don't trust me. I'm, I might yeah. be a scammer for all they know. You know, I'm just another person out there trying to sell real estate to them, right? But I think as I started um, uploading more content, started answering people's questions online, started being honest and transparent. Transparent is key here. Started being transparent about everything. I think I started earning more people's trust. I started earning more people's trust. And then when they started calling me, they started realizing, oh, shoot, he's just like his videos. What you see is what you get. So he, he's not he's not a different person offline. He's the same person online and offline. So I think I started building more trust. And from there, people started sharing my content. You know, like I met you. I met Too Fang. I met Key Vane. I don't know why he's not on this live stream, but he's normally the first one. And then I met Too Vane from Fresno. I met all these other folks. And, and, and then from that, I started realizing, oh my gosh, I get way more engagement online than I do my radio. Gotcha. I, started, I, I cut that expense out from, from my monthly income. Yeah. Because I yeah. realized free content was uh, was better. And yeah. it's always going to be there. They don't have to wait till only Wednesdays. Yeah. yeah. You can always share. You can always share. share. Yeah. That's powerful. It's, there. it's there for other people too, mm -hmm. you know, uh, searching yeah. you know, online. Awesome. So those of you guys who join wondering what the hell we're talking about, right? <laughs> we're talking about, you know, Chia starting a YouTube page and I say is a side hustle. He he's doing it as just, you know, to get engagement for his business, right? I think that was kind of kind of what you were trying to do mm -hmm. to get. But you know, since we're a we're a money show, um, because we're all moan hustlers, you know, you know, we I think of it as different way. I think of it as, as trying to create a second income, which which later on down the road you will hopefully get there, right? Yeah. As what was the requirements again? You say there was a certain requirements that you had to get. Oh, uh, so and two, just to, 
just to hey too we did answer your questions right hopefully uh that was it it's like how did you get your content ideas i think we we went like 15 minutes on how to get a content <laughs> yeah, idea. So let us know if you didn't answer <laughs> so but, um, so to answer two's question about my content i think this is my 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 frequently asked question is where do you get all your content from believe it or not a lot of my content is um repeated content but i uh repurpose it into something a little bit more relevant because sometimes maybe the last time when i spoke i made a video about this content it didn't get many views or it didn't get many people's uh, attention was because my audio sucked or it wasn't relevant during that time but if it was relevant relevant today and i made a video about it more people's gonna click about it because everybody's searching it you gotcha. know so it's okay to repeat content as long as you dress it up in a different format you know kind of like kind of like our dress our dress code right when we go to work we don't wear shorts and flip-flops right we don't because our uniform for work is dressed professionally so that way people can look at you in a professional manner they know that you're an expert when you come home you're not gonna dress like that yeah yeah you know you're gonna be casual you're just gonna be comfortable because you're home you just want to relax it's a different dress code so when you repurpose your videos as long as you dress it up towards that relevancy towards that day then it'll 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 be good it's okay to repeat your content just do it in a different style gotcha. and on top of that too my content comes from like daily daily relevant searches i'll go on youtube or google.com and i'll see what's like the number one top search regarding real estate dude that's amazing right there yeah yeah yep. i'll do that or i'll go to youtube because youtube is the second biggest search engine right now my god google's number one of course but youtube's yeah. the second biggest if you want to fix yeah. a car go to youtube if you want to yeah. freaking paint your house go to youtube right everybody is going to youtube to search for how to's and diy's so when you go on youtube if you search like watch let me go on youtube right now just just to put a uh, uh example for all you guys okay i'm gonna put real estate you know the first thing that comes comes up on uh youtube search or well, let me show you turn this around real estate investing you see how it went underneath that yeah that tells you that's a big search right now so if i was to make a video right now about real estate investing yeah it'll get a lot of views automatically without me sharing it because everybody's already searching that gotcha and, and the reason could, why could, reason why behind that is that you're trying to get subscribers and you're trying to get viewers right you're trying that, you're trying to get your message out there so yeah. how how youtube works is they like it when people are on their site if you're on youtube what happens the moment your video is about to end another video pops up saying you might like this video it's similar to the one you just watched yeah and it, it automatically loads that up it gives you suggested videos right i want my videos to be in those categories because there might be a person in sacramento or El grove that's watching a video and then my video pops up and they click on it and next thing you know oh my gosh he's from sacramento yeah I uh so the video I uploaded last week, right? Um, I had this guy comment on there, and this guy was like, "Finally, a a, a YouTuber that's in Sacramento and he does real estate." <laughs> <laughs> so, so there you go. So you got a lead from it, right? Was Basically, it, yeah. You got a lead from a YouTube video that you posted, right? So that's amazing, man. Man, I should do that for my vacation rental business as well. Dude, that's why that's why I keep saying, how come you don't post about your vacation rentals, your Airbnbs, everything you do, everything you do on Hmong Hustlers live streams right now, you need to start making that for your YouTube content too. And then once you start building an audience, everybody's gonna know Chai is all about Airbnb and landlord crap. I know that's that right. if I go to his channel, it's gonna be everything about landlord and Airbnb yeah yeah you're right bro you're right that's you see what that's i mean amazing. that's so that's my niche that's what you're saying that yeah that's niche. that's your yeah. niche 
If I yeah. didn't know anything yeah. about Airbnb and landlord, I already know Chai is there. But yeah, then the yeah. thing is, there's so many other people that don't go on Facebook, so they don't know who you are, but they're on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. So tell me, so tell me, I know, I know we're talking about content. All right. So, so what's, what's the minimum to start making money on YouTube? The minimum to start getting paid by YouTube is a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours watch for that year. Right. So, so I do also want to add on top of that because somebody mentioned earlier on the other live stream before we got booted off because of my connection. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they said, how much do I get paid? And to answer that question, I don't get paid from YouTube for my YouTube channel, but I do get paid from people connecting uh, with me through my YouTube videos. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, so what what you're saying is that like that was your lead. How we were talking, that was your lead, right? From that person. That's what you were looking for. But then also your second lead down the road is gonna be hopefully you start building this large audience and then start making money from the viewership. So right? it's funny, yeah, it's funny because sometimes whenever people call me Chai, they don't even say, Hey, uh, is is this Chia? They go, <laughs> is they go, is this Chia talks? <laughs> 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 oh man that's and that's when you know it's working right yeah it's so funny whenever i hear people calling me and they call me chia talks like yeah. especially jamon people they would be like um couple y'all chia talk oh. and yeah. i'll be like oh yo my how'd you find out my number oh your youtube videos on facebook <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> That's funny. Well, you know it's working, right? Yeah. So let's see. We do have a question from Kuo, Kuo Hua saying that, uh, so how did you get started? All right. I think, can you answer that part for them? Yeah. So, so when you go into your YouTube account, uh, Kuo Hua, everybody that has a Gmail account automatically has a, 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 a Google, I mean, all, everybody that has a Google account or a Gmail you automatically have a YouTube account. When you go to YouTube.com, it's gonna ask you for a login. You just log in. And the moment you log in, you click your face or your name on the right corner, you're gonna automatically see all of this. Let me turn this around. You're gonna see this right here, where it says your channel. Yours might look different for me, but you're gonna see YouTube Studio, all that. You're gonna automatically see this too, to where it says upload a video. Anybody could do that right now. You know why YouTube made it so easy for anybody to make videos? Because they want you to make videos. Why? Because every time you get somebody to come to YouTube, YouTube makes money. Yeah. Yeah. It's a business for them. So they, of course, they're going to want you to make videos, even if it's a stupid video. They just want you to make a video. So they made it so easy that you could do it on your phone. Okay, cool. So uh, I think there was a question earlier uh, too. Goes, what software do you use? Um, hey, you guys have any questions, guys? Let us know uh, where you guys are from, so we want to know uh, where our viewers are are from. We'll give you a quick shout out on the show, and uh, just questions. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and comment it below. But Tua is asking, what software do you use to edit? I'm assuming you edit your your video and stuff. Yeah, I edit everything on my own. I use adobe premiere pro that's a very expensive and complex software i do not recommend starting off with that you're gonna want to quit the moment you started editing your videos i use um filmora that's a free app um that works great and then from there spell I, that, spell that, my, spell that. what is that for for mora filmora it's I, i'll put that on the um Link. Yeah, we'll share a link. We'll share a link in, uh, later as part of the notes for the. Yeah, I'll just finish. comment on the uh, Filmora. Okay. That's the software I use for uh, my editing in the beginning. Now I don't touch Filmora because it doesn't give me the things I need as a video creator. I love Adobe Premiere. It's expensive, gotcha. but it's worth it because, I, again, I'm in it for the long haul. And gotcha. I don't look at the price tag like that because I look at it like it's a big expense, it's an investment. Gotcha. You got to look at more. it like that. If, if you're going to really make videos for a long haul, then it's a business yeah. expense. It's a business decision. 
Gotcha. And he put it on there. It's F I L M O R A. Yeah. Filmora. Filmora. Okay. Gotcha. So, yeah, you guys got questions? Go ahead and comment below. Um, so, all right. So, let's talk about money, right? Since we're money show, right? Let's see. You're you're saying your buddy was making how much money? It's not my buddy. Oh, this this YouTuber. Uh, you guys all know him, like me, Kevin. Yes. Yes. So he so one of his videos went to number one trending. Right. If you yeah. go on his YouTube channel, you'll see it. He showed everybody how much money he made. And from that video, he donated all the uh the commission to like a nonprofit organization, which is pretty cool. Okay, yeah. But he made about eighteen thousand dollars just being number one trending on YouTube for that day. Well, just for that day. Just for Got that it. day. Like not how many views? How many over, views? Over over a million views. One million views so so or... youtube is youtube is kind of weird you could be number one trending for the first 30 minutes for the first hour for the first six yeah. hours he was number one trending i think for like the first six hours or the first 12 hours and because of that youtube recommended it to everybody on youtube right and so yeah. everybody that wasn't subscribed to his channel came to that video and he got hella subscribers he got hella views and then he made a video about that and I showed that to my wife. I was like, look how much this guy made just from YouTube videos. <laughs> because because I think this is a good segue into when you, yeah, you yeah. get serious about your YouTube channel. Yeah. Your partner, your spouse may not agree to it because they're going to look at it like, you're stupid. Why are you making videos? Go hustle. That's right. When I go first find a job. Started, for real, yeah, go get a freaking <laughs> real job. Go focus more on your pipeline, you know? But then, like, for me, I knew what I was doing with Chia Talks already. I was already envisioning um, the goal in mind, like, you know, yeah. the destination in mind. I was telling my wife, I was like, YouTube is, I'm not trying to make money from YouTube. If I do, great. That's a bonus. But I want Chia Talks to really be a resource for people that's looking for answers, honest answers when they're buying and selling real estate. So that's what yeah. Chia Talks is about. And she didn't believe me. She didn't believe me. And then, um, and then, um, my, uh, my mentor, right? My broker shared something in our team meeting and said, out of everybody here, out of all the agents in this uh, brokerage, Chia is the only one that has above 80% personal clients. Everybody else has majority 60 to 80% business clients from the broker. Yeah. Meaning that yeah. I don't depend, I did not depend on the broker to give me leads. Yeah. Every, everything was from personal, meaning from word of mouth or from friends and family, personal. So I shared that with the wife and I was like, it's all because of Chia Talks. Yeah. You, you know, know, it's it's another channel, right? It's another it's channel. Another, it's another channel. Oh, there's Key. He finally logged in. He probably just woke up. <laughs> give us a shout out key so we'll, we'll message you on uh, uh we'll give you a shout out key let us know where you're from <laughs> anybody else who's joined let us know where you guys are from we'll give you a, we'll give you guys a shout out yeah. so and and there's a way to find out how much people are making right i mean i don't know if you know because i i found this out the other day so if you guys want to know how much yasmin is making <laughs> give us a few likes i'll let you guys know on the show Let's see, we got about like what? Just ten likes, ten thumbs up. Give us a like. Give give us at least fifty likes. Come on, man. And well, I'll, I'll <laughs> let you guys know how much Yasmin's making. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, like I was telling you, man. Like YouTube. If some people only focus so much only on YouTube and they really want to make that into a growing business where they actually get a good income from it, you don't need that. You don't need millions of subscribers. You don't. You only need uh, engagement. YouTube yeah. cares more about engagement. Yeah. Like if you have a thousand subscribers but you have million views, but out of out of those uh thousand videos that you have or I mean out of those thousand subscribers that you have, how often do you engage with them? Do you like their comment? Do you reply back to their comment? Do, do you basically do you keep them in YouTube or do you actually turn them away from YouTube? Gotcha. If gotcha. you keep them in YouTube, then YouTube is gonna promote your video automatically. Gotcha. So they, gotcha. they have that algorithm right now. So 
So, you know, tell us, tell us what you mentioned the other day as far as what makes more, right? Because we, we were talking the other day and yeah. you were talking about like if you're an artist, you make a certain amount. Uh, and if you're a, um, if you're a content, right? Information, yep. like what's the difference? Who makes them, who makes more money? So I would say the people that if you, I think to answer that, it's a little vague, but if you go in depth, every creator mm -hmm. makes their own money from YouTube differently. It's either through Amazon affiliate links. It's either through AdWords or it's either through their own merchandise like Yami. Yasmi, she makes, she has her own product line. She makes more money from that than YouTube. I guarantee it. So, but then if you, if you go into your YouTube account, right? When you create your channel, they're going to ask you specific questions. They're going to say, what is your channel about? Is it about people? Is it entertainment? Is it music? Is it traveling? They ask you that. Why do they ask you that? Because it's going to be a certain category that they're going to pay you based off from because let's say for example Yasmi right she makes music that's how she was known originally for music her music videos that gets millions and whatever views they don't get paid that much compared to a traditional video that has a lot of ads in their uh videos like Kev me Kevin's you watch this video it's probably like five ads in there and it's only 10 minute long video right yeah. But if you go and watch a music video from Yasmi, you only get maybe two ad in the beginning and at the end of the video. Why? Because it's a music. YouTube knows that if the music is interrupted in the middle of it, nobody's going to want to view it. They're going to turn away from it. So because uh -huh. of that, they only allow you to put the ads in the beginning and towards the end. So you're not getting that much view because if that person skips your video before it reaches that ad, then you don't get paid for that ad. Gotcha. So music artists, they get paid good. Don't get me wrong, but they don't focus on the ad from YouTube because people are not watching their videos. They're just listening to the video in their car, at a karaoke night, at a hangout spot with their family. They're playing it for entertainment to hear the music only. They're not watching the movie, right? Gotcha. So that is different. And compared to like you watching a vlog or anything like that. But gotcha. since we are on the topic of money, a YouTuber could get paid in a lot of ways. We already spoke about one, right? It's ads from YouTube. Um, it's affiliate links. Affiliate link could be from Amazon. If you go on some YouTuber websites, they're going to say, hey, if you guys like these items that I'm doing, uh, I'm doing a review on, links are in the description below. And when you click that link, it takes you to an Amazon affiliate link. You don't notice that, but it takes you to a link. But yep. every time you buy it, they get a percentage from that item. Some YouTubers make nothing uh, but from affiliate links. Yeah, yeah. And they can get paid bank. Imagine, you spent 20 bucks. And here's the crazy thing about the affiliate links. Even though you go and click that link, let's say it's a camera, right? You click it. You end up not buying it, but you're still on Amazon and you search and you yeah. bought a, you bought a $1,000 laptop. They still got paid because once you click their link, it remains in the affiliate for like, I think an hour. Wow. So if you're so. searching, if you click on their Amazon affiliate link and you're buying stuff for a whole hour, everything you bought for that whole hour, they just got paid a, t a percentage from. <laughs> so yeah. So, so <laughs> yeah, man. There's okay. What's another way? So that's two ways, right? That's two so ways. The add, third way. Fill a link, and then you can get re, like the channel where they come to you for your sponsor. like sponsor. Yeah, okay, you, so sponsor. You get sponsors, and another thing too is you you can make your own product. You know, like sponsorship meaning. Let's elaborate. Meaning that they they go, man, this guy has like a million friends or subscribers. We're gonna use him to. Yep promote our stuff yep. right that's what we mean by sponsors okay what's yep. the other way another way Pro your own product okay i guarantee you every famous youtuber you know has their own product yasmi has her music artist uh covers she has her poker cards right she has her makeup she has her like perfumes she has 
all of these merchandise that is her own product line. Yeah. That's another avenue. And I bet you anything she gets paid way more from that than anything else. From her product line. From her product line, yep. Gotcha, gotcha. Guaranteed. I guess nobody wants to know about how much she makes on YouTube because I'm not <laughs> getting a like, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, right? <laughs> What's another way? The another other, way? Oh, forgot. The other way was like, you know how that guy actually came to you because he saw, he said that you were an Elk Grove mm -hmm. agent, right? So that was another way. So, dude, that's like one, two, three, four, five ways, you know, for people to come to you already. Yep. Did so that's faith? why... That's why a lot of big companies now, like Best Buy, Home Depot, Lowe's, they have their own YouTube channel now. Why? Yeah. Because their logo is on there. So every time whenever they make a video, you watch it, you already know, oh, Home Depot. It's a subconscious thing that's in your mind to where whenever you want to go buy anything for your home, oh, yeah, I know Home Depot. It's subconscious. Yeah. So they, yeah. they care more about that. Gotcha, gotcha. So, so it's important. If you pay attention to a lot of big companies on what they're doing and you're not doing it, you want to be get big, then you're missing the boat. Yeah, dude. If this big is, companies dude. are doing it, how come you're not doing it, but you call yourself a hustler? Uh, I'm just learning right now, bro. You're teaching me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got you on the show, man. <laughs> This is for my benefit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, cool. So, so just a quick idea. All right, so, so, uh, what you sent me the other day was pretty cool, right? So you did a video, and I think within was it one week you had nine thousand views? Was no, that right? No, no. With, within a week, here, let me look. So within. <laughs> Yeah, let me let me go look up the analytics, okay? So yeah, so it's not it's not that hard, right? Because it's not because I didn't, once you get going, it's it's kind of, it just snowballs into like uh, you know, you you once you start getting more subscribers, more known, your your content uh, it just starts snowballing. There's more views now, and then I guess we'll, we'll show you some numbers of what, how much people are making. Per uh, preview, maybe if we get enough likes, we can show you how much Yasmin is making per month. But you know, nobody really cares because I'm not seeing any likes. So <laughs> <laughs> they don't care about Yasmin, man. Yasmin, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, okay. So 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 let me just go over some numbers for you guys, so you guys can have a better picture of uh, how this video blew up for me. Yeah. Okay. I'm not yeah. comparing it to the millions of subscribers a YouTuber does, but my normal video would typically get around maybe 40 to 90 views. The first 12 hours, it's been uploaded, right? Yeah. But this video got 272 views. So that was way above my average. And then after four days, my typical view is still 70 views to 100 views only for, that, for a video average. But this video yeah. jumped to 534. And it's still going up. From this video alone, I I got 10 subscribers that I didn't know. And yeah. now it's at 970 views. And normally a typical video will only be like 90 to 200 views. So, this so what was that one thing that, that, that got you this? What was that one thing that blew this up? So remember what I said about the top searches on Google and make it relevant. I did that. And it came up forbearance. Mortgage forbearance. Go. Remember that time? Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? I need to make a video about that because this is a trap. Yeah. And so I, I did it. And then I wanted to make sure that my thumbnail was going to catch a lot of people's attention. So I put, will you lose your home? That would catch my attention. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so then they, so then um, a lot of people watched it. From that, and I, when I go and look at other YouTubers that talk about forbearance, there's not many people that talk about forbearance when I upload yeah. this video. I was like the very top, probably top five. Nobody yeah. else was making this video. So I was one of the top. 
So that's all people saw. And they clicked mine because my thumbnail was the most different one compared to everybody else's. So yeah. thumbnail matters a lot too, guys. Okay. Thumbnail matters a lot. Of course, it can't be something that's not related to the content. Like, for example, if I did forbearance, but then my thumbnail says hot Cheetos. It, it, it's got nothing to do with forbearance. Kabasa, yeah. it's not relevant. Or it can yeah. say, so, so it needs to be relevant and it needs to be, it needs to be something to where it's not clickbait, what is what I'm trying to say. Right, right, right. Gotcha. So, so that was what, nine, how many views was that? That was 973 views, but it's still going. And the thing is, the thing you also want to uh, pay attention to too is, if you make a video, even though I get all these views, how long were they watching my videos? Because if I made a 10-minute video and I got a view from it, how long did they watch? Did they only watch for 10 seconds? Because if they yeah. only watch for 10 seconds, YouTube's not going to promote my video. YouTube's going to say, oh, heck no, you're turning people away because of your video. No, we're not going to promote your video. So they want you to keep them remaining on YouTube, right? So what do they... So uh, my average view... For people to watch, majority of people started uh, flaking out after three minutes and fifty seconds. Meaning, okay. from, meaning from the time they clicked on my thumbnail and the video would load up, majority of them logged off after three minutes and forty seconds of the video. Gotcha, gotcha. So you gotta so, pay attention to that. Google cares more about the retention than they uh -huh. do the actual view. Okay. Because remember. All right. The 4,000 hours is 4,000 hours on YouTube, not 4,000 views. Gotcha. Views and retention is two different things. I could, I right. could accidentally click your thumbnail and your video pops up, Chai, and you got a view count. But I didn't stay on there for more than five seconds. <laughs> so, so, so you got to capture their intention the whole time. You got to make them like, oh, man, what is he going to say next? Yeah. You know? Like, what, what is this video about? Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. So so I don't know if you guys realize this, but then if you guys watch all my videos, I always leave something in the beginning to where it kind of hooks you, right? So yeah. I can play it again for this one, can right? Can you imagine everybody recovering from this crisis that we're going on right now, and then all of a sudden, bam, mortgage forbearance is due. And it's a big lump sum that, you had never intended to pay and you probably forgot at the back of your mind. <laughs> See, so, so, so my intro for that video was pretty enticing. <clears throat> yeah. It's going to make people think, what, what the heck is he talking about? My, all my payments are going to be due at the fourth month. What? Yeah. I didn't hear about this on my forbearance application. And then they wait. So and yeah. w w what does he have to say about this? So then they wait, they watch it. So you have right. to you have to be strategic about making your video content in that fashion. It doesn't have to be identical to how I'm doing it, but it needs to have a hook. Gotcha. It needs gotcha. to make sure that the person that clicked on it clicked the right video. Because if I would have did that intro like, hi, oh, I'm just eating Cheetos. I'll talk about the forbearance later, whatever. Everybody's gonna be like, oh hell no, I don't wanna watch you eat Cheetos and they're gonna log out. <laughs> gotcha. Zong goes, hey, do you have to be good looking to be successful on YouTube? <laughs> I don't know, Zong. What do you think? What do you think, Chia? Nope. I think I think the moment you become popular or the, the main guy to go to on YouTube, that automatically makes you good looking already. <laughs> it doesn't matter about how good looking you are right now. It matters about it matters about <clears throat> how much you're actually giving value to people, right? Like what I said earlier, people don't yeah. care how much you know they uh, until they know how much you care. So let's give that value, right? So let's give that value. Let's let's just show you what one of my mentors are. You know how much he made within one year, uh, how much views he was doing. I, I have a screenshot here. Let me see if I can add that on my <clears> screen here. Um, close that off here. Um, let us know, guys, let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we're almost at the top of the hour. Um, but dude, bro, good content. <laughs> Love it, man. Love the content you're giving. Um, 
I, I took a lot of notes, man. Took a lot of notes. Uh, it's a lot, man. That. This there's so much more that I still need to do, dude. Like Guam, I got to the point where now my video production, I'm ADD. ADD, what do you mean by that? Like I, I, I need to make sure that everything's working. My lighting's good. My frame is right. Uh, my yeah. thumbnails, but I still <laughs> forget. You know, like the the difference between a really really successful person and a person that's not really successful is the intentionality behind that individual was you intentional about your success did it happen by accident or did it happen because you made it happen right some people say uh that successful people are are, are lucky because they automatically just got that world it's like no they intentionally made it happen because they went through the struggles and the trials of of uh, learning everything back and forth, right? And being repetitive until, until they, they became, became super, super good, good at, at it, it and, and until, until it became, became like, like uh, a second, second nature, nature to, to them. them. Yeah. yeah. YouTube's, YouTube's the same, same thing. thing. So here's the numbers if you guys want to know. So my one of my mentors actually had, for the entire year, he had three, 3 million views. Let me see if there's an echo here. Three million views. And he actually, <laughs> out of all that three million views, um, he made about 41,000 per year for that year. So, I mean, I mean, I don't, I forgot how many content, how much videos he had, but three million views. You think that's easy to, I mean, how many views you've gotten so far? For the year? You, year? Yeah. Can you tell? I mean, um, yeah, think, yeah. So, so if, if I go, I go to, to all, all of my, my views, views for the, for the year, year, um, I'm just checking. Like, I have my channel, and let me just see if my channel even tells you, like, throughout the entire year or or so, it actually tells you how many. Oh, we can actually do since we didn't get our our likes. I'll show you what it looks like on <laughs> maybe one of the artists, one of these artists, right? So um, the website, since you guys, you know, are hustlers here, you can kind of, you kind of spy on people, right? You kind of spy on people's YouTube channel. And the website is called Sh uh, Social Blade. So S-O-C-I-A-L Blade, B-L-A-D-E dot com. And you can kind of go there and then you can kind of type in the username, right? So we can go to one of my favorite artists out in California that passed away, you know, C, mm -hmm. C Lee. Oh, yeah, that, oh, yeah. You know, Man, he kind of blew, kind of blew up when he passed, passed away. away. Yeah. So uh, his channel is called Lee Official. Great guy. Um, met, him, met him once. Uh, but we can kind of tell you, he, it gives them his ranks, you know, on how his music rank is. And it can kind of gives you an estimate on how much he makes um, uh, yearly, right? And it says either 2000 to 41000 per year, right? So let me do a quick zoom in. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you guys can kind of see, like, can you guys see that? You see that, Chia? Yep, I yep, see it. I see it. It's a little blurry, but I see it. Yeah, it's a little estimate. I mean, it's not, you know, it's just it's an estimate about how much ranking does. And you kind of see how much, you know, people go throughout his videos or his views per day, you know. And then you can kind of see, you know, as far as what it looks like on, on views and stuff like that. But, um, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but, dude, I don't mind another... 40,000 just by posting videos on myself, <laughs> right? That's, That's true. true. This will this will grow, right, over time? Yeah. Because yeah. as people get to know you uh, and people want to know more about your content, and some people, you know, and it's this is going to just keep getting bigger and bigger. So, And, and I think the, I think the important, important thing, thing, too, too is, is – if, if even, even if your, your video, video doesn't, doesn't blow, blow up, up like like right away, right away 
it may, it blow, may up blow up in a year. In a year. So for example, so for example I, got I got a video, right, right, on my, on channel, my channel about, about foreclosures. foreclosures. Hi, my, my name, name is. It's, it's, it's about it's about us. Uh, if you could buy homes from Zillow foreclosures, right? Pre foreclosures. Yeah. When, when I first made that video, I got like twenty the the average view, twenty thirty views for the first twelve hours. But then, when all of this cr uh, crap started going down, hell of people were searching foreclosure homes on YouTube. Yeah. And my video blew up. I went and searched my analytics. I'm like, what the heck? This video got four or 500 views? What? Yeah. And then I looked and it happened during the time when uh, people was talking about recession, people was talking about the coronavirus, all that crap. And then it, and it became a relevant topic to search for. Yeah. So, so that's what I mean by the power of making a video. Even if you think it's a good idea or good or not, just make it anyways for the sake of making it because it might blow up in a year. It might blow up in six months. <laughs> Dude, like right. I want to search your channel, Chai. Your most popular video. Do you even know what it is? It was like a it was like a little review. Yeah, it was a review of that freaking uh mud mud maker for yeah. Wayner, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Seven thousand views. I know. I wanted you to see, like, if there's, like, uh, you know, if there if anybody cared, right? So, those you guys don't know, I did. I'm like, all right, let me just do because I just want to see what what the fuss is all about with YouTube and, and the reviews because I, I didn't see one because when I was buying, I was trying to do like a like you know this the popcorn ceiling, yeah, uh, for my garage, and uh, I'm just like, all right, uh, there's this there's this tool, right? And there isn't any review on it, so. You know, I'm like, all right, let me just do one and and let's just see what it looks like. And I did one, and dude, that was the most like view out of my entire channel. But I bet <laughs> when you made it, the first couple of months, it didn't get any views, though, right? Yeah, you're right. You're right. right? It took a while because that video was what three years old, two years old. Yeah, it's a while back. Yeah, about but three then years. it yeah. blew up. Yeah, I, I, maybe the algorithm. Yeah, the took algorithm it pushed it. So you can actually sure. find out when it blew up by checking your oh. analytics of that video. Oh. You can find out. So okay. you should go do it, man. I'm curious what, what caused it to blow up. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's it. You know, so so that's why you see all these people doing like reviews of like TVs and stuff like that. That's part of the reason why they're trying to get all these viewers mm -hmm. and maybe, you know, get some income out of it. So yeah. that's it, man. Anybody got any other questions? Let's see here. Nobody wants to know how much what Yasmin's making. No, I told you, bro. They don't care about Yasmin. Man, <laughs> well, now we know how much uh, Seed's making. I don't know where that money's going. I'm sorry, bro. I miss this guy, man. <laughs> yeah, Kabon. Yeah. I didn't know about his music until he passed away, and it was blowing up on my social media. And then, like, yeah. I started listening to hell of his songs. And yeah. then my wife, my, my wife started getting annoyed, like, man, why are you listening to some Mong, Mong OG song? I'm like, is, he's not OG. He's younger than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love it. I love that song, man. Oh, geez. But all right. So <laughs> nobody cares about Yasmin, how much she makes per, per, per month. Then let's, let's go on to uh, the end of our segment here, right? So uh, we do this to every one of our guests, you know, just to see. And I think you already answered it, but kind of want to just to add it on this show again is, if we were to give you we but you know uh let's just say you know unrealistically if if you were to happen to have landed on one billion dollars in your lap what would what was the first thing you would do with it invest invest oh, I'll, I'll definitely uh buy man your audio your audio broke up there like you're far away is it is it something is it? Yeah, yeah 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 no still hear me yeah i still hear you it just sounds like uh yeah two saying you're echoing but uh am i still echoing yeah you're still echoing in a bit it, you were it was like that earlier too but i guess it, it was the way but uh still doing it huh yeah still doing it but answer anyway we can kind of hear you so you'll be answering in like a chipmunk kind of, kind of way <laughs> um if I landed on all that money, I would probably uh, use that to uh, 
to go and invest more into my business right now. Find doing a, a lot more marketing, a lot more uh, advertisement for the staging and for my real estate business right now. You know. So you're still so even with all that money, you'll still stay and be an agent. Yep, because wow. because the thing is, um, I think what people get wrong is when they get all that money, they um. They spend it on pointless stuff, right? They spend it on pointless stuff. And then when that money runs out, like, what did you accomplish? You didn't accomplish nothing. You just go back to doing your job. For me, I, I think I wanted to uh, be to where if I get that kind of resource, I can invest it way more into my business and grow it to where I really want it to be. Because I really want to be a, uh, I really want my business to grow to where, like, I have a bunch of agent teammates just selling houses. And I'm just kind of sitting in the back line advising people, you know. That's really what I want. Or, uh, so you're, of course, you're in it for the love, too. right? Huh? You're in there for the love of the business yep. to help people out. That's pretty much it, you know. Helping people buy homes and do you do you help them buy home and sell homes, or what do you? Are you like a yeah, buy and sell, right? buy sell, invest, yeah. Awesome. I'll probably awesome. buy a few yeah. other. Uh, I'll buy a few investment properties too. Storage. As long as it makes sense, I'm, I'm not just gonna buy anything, right? But as long as it makes sense, for sure, I'll probably do that. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, sorry for the audio issue, yeah. but you know, uh, how can people get a hold of you? Well, Facebook. I'm always online, as, as everybody here know already. I'm always on Facebook. Um, all my contact information is on my Facebook too. So, so my number, my email, everything. So social media. Just click on my name on Facebook, and then you can get a hold of me, guaranteed. So we'll tag your we'll tag your name on on the on this episode as well, and your your um your Facebook name is C H I A Vang V A N G, right? Mm -hmm. That. And then your YouTube channel is uh, Chia Talks, C H I A T A L K S, just one word, and you'll get all his content. He yeah. talks a lot about real estate, and I think you do some vlogging in there too, right? Yeah, I do vlogs occasionally, but I don't do it as much. Just right now, yeah. we got Chaser. What's the point of vlogging being inside the house? <laughs> <laughs> like I said, man, it's same old thing every day now until this coronavirus is over. So. Yeah, yeah, for real. So, uh, yeah, man, hey, thanks for being part of the show uh thanks for sharing the content dude I, I took so much notes i hope everybody has done as well any last words um if you're gonna if you guys are gonna start a youtube channel make sure you're consistent like if you start it go all in don't just do it for the sake of doing it so that you have it do it and very and really utilize it for what you're doing now like even a nine to five job if you love what you're doing Make a YouTube channel about that. Shoot, you ain't got nothing better to do right now. You're just being quarantined anyways. <laughs> you know? Gotcha, man. Uh, tag Chia, your, your breakdancing stuff. <laughs> 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 all right, man. Appreciate everything. Uh, everybody else, keep hustling, all right? All right, Thanks bro. Thanks for part of the show. Talk to you guys later. All right, later. See ya.